This is a step-by-step -step Photoshop tutorial, and I'm about to show you how to get these smooth cutouts like this right here for your gaming thumbnails, and it's coming right now. What up, YouTube? Listen, I got this video for y'all, man, because I've been asked plenty of times, hey, how do you make your thumbnails? How do you get those smooth cutouts? How do you get everything together in Photoshop? Please show me, please show me. So, hey, that's what I'm about to do. And before I do, y'all already know what I need y'all to do. Drop a like, comment, subscribe if you're brand new. Let's get about 50 likes on this video, man. Y'all can do that for me. And comment down below and let me know if y'all use Photoshop, if y'all make your own thumbnails, what's up in the gaming community from the Dub Gang Squad. Let me know down in the comments. And if you're brand new, listen, I got all kinds of videos. I mean, everything. I, I do it all. You know what it is. Hit that subscribe button with the post notification bells. Please, please, please. So, let's talk about these smooth cutouts that I do. I'm going to show you step by step. So, Bear with me. If you know a little bit about Photoshop, you can skip around. But if you don't, I got you from scratch. Let's get it. First thing you need is a canvas. So go ahead and open up Photoshop, file, new, and boom, get you a transparent canvas. It can be transparent. You can have a white background, black background. It don't matter. You just need a canvas, okay? You need a workspace. And this is what I got. The next thing you're gonna do is put a picture on the canvas. I already got my pictures over here, okay? If you don't know how to put a picture on your canvas, just open up your picture file and grab it and drag it and drop it. Look at that. Yeah, you can do it, all right? Once you have it dragged and dropped onto your canvas, you wanna hit enter to confirm that you want that on your canvas. And here we go. I will give a little disclaimer. I have the latest Photoshop, Photoshop 2020. If you have a previous version, I will tell you what you need to do when I make the selections that I'm making, okay? Because it might be slightly different for a previous version. Let's get into these smooth cutouts. The first thing after you have uploaded your picture to the canvas, you want to hit the W key on your keyboard. Boom, W is selected. See this little wand popped up right here on this toolbar. There is one, two, three, four buttons down that you want to go to and select the magic wand tool. If it's not selected right here, right click on your mouse and go down to the magic wand tool. Like I said, I got 2020 Photoshop. So some of y'all might not have this object selection tool. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you select the magic wand tool. Once you have this tool selected, this is where the easiness begins. You want to click what is called the negative space on this picture. I got to tell y'all a couple of things about this picture. Notice that there's a solid background in my green screen. And I know there's a little bit over here on the left and the right, but there's a solid background at which my body is positioned on. All right. I did that purposefully because it makes this thing 10 times easier. When I say a negative space, I mean any space that isn't my body. I want to select. So I'm gonna click over here on the green screen. Click, and you see how we put this little selection out here with these little ridges and everything? That's perfectly fine. What I'm more concerned with is where did it go around my body? It went right slap dab around where I needed to. Now, the next thing is very important and make sure you do not miss this step. You wanna hold the shift button. And when you hold that shift button, you see a little plus symbol underneath that wand. That means you're gonna add to the selection. If you don't hit that shift button and you just click over here in another negative space, it's going to take away the first selection that you used. So make sure you hold shift 
when you're hitting this button. So I'm gonna go back over here, holding shift, <laughs> I'm gonna click this button so that it adds to the selection that I had previously. And what I'm gonna do is continue to click around my body in the negative space. I need to make sure that I get everything that I can when I click. So I can click down here and look at that. It picks it up perfectly around my body. I'm gonna click over here. I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna click up here. I'm even gonna click right there. What I'm concerned with is what's around my body, but I can't forget about this area either. So I'm gonna click right there. Now, you might be saying, but what about these little specks? What about these little dots? I wanna get rid of that too. I'm gonna to let go of the shift button and I'm gonna select the L key on my keyboard. That is going to activate our lasso tool. It's the third icon down. It's the lasso tool. Make sure it's selected, okay? Now, this is the same on 2020 and previous versions. Make sure you have that selected. And again, the most important part of this is holding the shift button, and we're gonna lasso around these extra little dots that we have, and see it gets rid of it. And we wanna make sure that we are fine tuning everything, and we're gonna lasso this whole thing right here. Get all these dots all these dots yeah get them dots boom look at that that's beautiful right and so once this is completed once you've lassoed every little thing now you're ready for the coup de gras and the most simplest thing for you to do to get this cut out perfect we're going to inverse our selection you're going to put your finger on the control button the shift button so you got the control button the shift button push right now and you're gonna hit the I button, the letter I, and it's going to inverse your picture, okay? It may not look like it did anything, but it definitely did. And once you've selected those combinations of buttons, you're gonna go down here, make sure that that layer is selected, which it should be because that's the only thing you're working on. You're gonna go down here and we're gonna add a layer mask. This button right here, okay, it's on underneath gonna select that and voila you've successfully had a smooth cutout isn't that pretty isn't that pretty heck yeah it is so let's go back and do that again before we move on to something a little bit more difficult all right so let's bring up this picture all right something different make sure you select that layer and we're gonna go through the steps again. So the first step is the picture is up onto our canvas. We wanna hit the W button or the wand. We're gonna select the negative space. We're gonna hold shift and select more negative space all around the picture. Make sure that we click everything that we can that's outside of our body in negative spaces. Like so, we've got those little dots still left. So guess what button we're gonna hit? We're gonna hit the L button for the lasso tool. We're gonna hold shift again. Don't forget to hold shift. Get rid of that right there. Get rid of this area right here. Like so. Next step, very important. Control, shift, and I to inverse the selection and then we're gonna make sure it's selected and then just simply hit add a layer mask. And there we go. Simple enough, right? Right. It's real smooth, the cutout is beautiful. I can now take this cutout and do whatever I want with it. Let's say I wanna move it. Let's move it. Oh, hey, hey everybody, what's up? What y'all doing? How y'all doing? Look how smooth it is, it's, it's very smooth. I can add this to a picture that I want. Uh, I can make it smaller, I can make it larger than life. I can do whatever I want with it. That's a really helpful tool in order to get a smooth cutout for your thumbnails that you wanna make. Speaking of which, let's say I wanted to add it on top of another picture, right? Hey, it's Call of Duty, it's me though. He's pointing the gun in my face. Oh my gosh, he's gonna hurt me. It's definitely a must have if you're trying to create thumbnails. You need this in your toolbox. Not everything is going to be lassoable. 
and magic wandable. Sometimes the wand tool isn't gonna be the best thing. Let's say I wanna just get this brewing right here for a cutout on my thumbnail. We got the magic wand tool selected. I want to select a negative space. So I'm gonna select over here. Oh, look at that. It selected the gun. Oh no. Remember, we want the edges of the gun selected. That's not gonna work. To get rid of the selection, you wanna hit Control D. Let's try right here, negative space. Oh no, man, that ain't that ain't what we want. No, that ain't that ain't it. So we're gonna hit Control D. The lasso tool is a lot better for a picture like this, but it's still not gonna be the greatest because you're gonna have that negative space in there. So I can go around this gun like so and see if you don't have a steady hand like I do not, <laughs> you're not gonna get the perfect sentiments around this gun. You can go around it like so. See what I'm doing here, see what I'm doing here, see what I'm doing here. Like so, you can go around it. Ugh. Boom, like that. And it'll give you somewhat a good selection for you to go ahead and do a clipping mask. But see all this negative space right here, which to each his own, you can use this and just go in and erase stuff like this. You can hit the E button for the erase button or go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight icon lists and just start erasing like that. But that would just take forever. A more perfect way to do a picture like this, we're gonna hit Control D to get rid of it. We're gonna hit the P button for pen tool, and that is the 11th icon down. Make sure pen tool is selected. And what we're gonna do is actually, we can zoom into this picture by holding Alt and scrolling in. We're gonna zoom into this picture and we're going to pin it. So while I am pinning the outside of this thing, I'm gonna speed this up right now. Ah, that's better. So again, to zoom out, you're gonna hold Alt, zoom out. Now, the pen tool is a great tool. You can do this with anything you want to do. We could have done that first picture, those first couple of pictures that I did with the pen tool, but it would have took forever, kind of like this one does. But again, if you want it to be a smooth cutout, it takes some time on pictures like this. So once you've completed that last click on the pen tool and you put it all together, you're gonna right click inside of your selection and you're gonna say, make selection once you're done. All right, and then just hit okay, zero anti-aliased, new selection, hit okay. And look at that, it gives us the selection. Now let's say, oh, I didn't get everything that I wanted to do. It's a little loosey goosey and I wanna make it even tighter. Go up to select tab at the top and you wanna click on modify and you wanna click on contract. Contract means make it smaller, bring it in. And you don't wanna contract by four here because that's gonna bring it in a lot. Let's contract by one, okay? Because I just wanna make it a little bit tighter. And when I hit okay, it actually brings the selection tighter. And now when I hit that mask over here on the right at the bottom, boom, makes it even more tighter and even more smoother on the gun. This folks, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, is how I get those smooth cutouts for my thumbnail. Matter of fact, let me put this layer mask back on. Look at that, I can put it over here. Got the gun, we can move it around, we can do whatever we want to with these layers now. And it makes it so much simpler to have this 
when you're working with thumbnails and move it around words, move it around pictures, uh, put a background here and do all kinds of stuff. You know, it is a vital tool to have in your toolbox for when you're creating your thumbnails, especially if you have access to Photoshop. We're done here, folks. Remember, 50 likes gets you another Photoshop tutorial. Whatever y'all want, I got you. But I figured, why not show y'all what goes on behind the scenes when I'm uploading this YouTube content? Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it was. It's your boy, Dubs CP. Y'all see what the shirt says. I'm out here to do one thing and one thing only, and that's blow up! Deuces. Smash that like button and comment down below.